What's going on, world? I am your host, Patrick Michael Strange, and you have tuned into the New Release Wednesday show, giving you the top three from three. On the show today, I have the manager of Painted Vision Comics, Cars, and Games, my buddy Adam Martin, and actor filmmaker Kevin Lay. But before we get to them, I have in our In Case You Miss It segment, they were known from doing the artwork on Star Wars The Clone Wars. They got a new book called Captain Freebird coming out with AC Comics. Here we go with the Philbach Brothers. Hi there, I am Sean Philbach. I'm Matthew Philbach. And in case you missed it, we are the Philbach Brothers. And we have in case you didn't miss anything else, it's Captain, Captain Freebird from First Comics, yeah. which is pretty awesome. You know, he's a outlaw superhero. I know him. I know him. And he is, uh, he's the Lone Ranger meets... Uh, he lost it. He lost it. I'm working on it. I'll keep on going. The Lone Ranger meets like a uh, uh, Jesse James outlaw. You're, you're not going to be an actor anymore. If this is your screen test, you're not. Okay. Okay. He's for outlaw superhero. Uh, that is insane. Yeah. 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 That doesn't sell it. Come I on. Know. I know. It, well, it we, we figure any any superhero has to be insane. Yeah. Who dresses up in a costume? I drop the mic right now. If you. Oh, I know. I'm not even I don't even know why. Hey guys, it's Adam, manager at Pain Visions, here to give you my top three picks this week for New Release Wednesday. Alright, first I'm going to start off with some Secret Wars stuff. No surprise, Patrick's the dying guy. Boo! I'm the Secret Wars guy. Yay! Whatever! So, first I'm going to start off with Years of Future Past. Sounds a little funny, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gone there, done this before. But, this is the great storyline where they've envisioned what if they didn't change the dark future and mutants were constantly held down and repressed and put in internment camps. So in this future, we realize that there is two children of Kitty and uh, Colossus, and these have some interesting powers. Well, we find out that there's a little bit of a conspiracy to make it seem like the mutants are the bad guys, when everybody knows mutants aren't the bad guys. Uh, so looking forward to this issue to see the uh, face-off between the children of Kitty and Colossus as uh, they're going to duke it out, and we're going to find out what goes from there. Next. I'm going to pick Inhumans Atlan Rising number five. This book has been great and really confusing. You got Medusa versus Black Bolt. It, it kind of makes no sense. It's really weird. You also get Black Bolt talking a lot. You don't see that ever. So this issue, uh, we finally have Black Bolt convincing Medusa that something's not right. And then we get the fan favorite Lockjaw showing up at the end of the last issue to rescue Black Bolt. Everybody loves a dog with a fork on his head, right? So, my last pick is going to be Fight Club 2, number 5. That's a mouthful. But, if you love the movie, this book picks up eight years after the movie, and right now we're at the point to where narrator Sebastian has gotten back into Fight Club, and he just fought Angel Face, or Jared Leto's character from the movie, got a little revenge on him. And now we also have Marla figuring out that uh, how big the Fight Club's gotten, and that it's not just for boys anymore. So uh, looking forward to see how this goes. I really want this book to do well, because if it does well, there's been expressed interest by all the former party members, Pitt and Norton, that they'd love to do a movie. So those are my picks for this Wednesday. Hope you guys enjoy. What's going on, people? This is Patrick, and these are my picks for September 23rd, 2015, for New Release Wednesday. Um, I've never been able to put a Rubik's Cube together. Don't understand it. Tried, fail, and I've seen these YouTube videos where people can do it in like less than a minute can't comprehend it and uh, I think it would be cool if I could do it maybe grant me some superpowers and uh, there's an upcoming comic this week from Dark Horse Comics called Power Cubed number one being written and illustrated by amazing artist Aaron Lepresti um, there's a kid by the name of Kenny Logan it's his 18th birthday and he has this cube and this cube actually gives him anything he can imagine pretty super sweet however there's a Nazi scientist that knows about it and wants it. And also there's a government agent who wants it as well to prevent an alien invasion. Kind of craziness going on in your 18th birthday. Sounds really interesting. I've always kind of thought it'd be awesome if you could get powers, if you could put a cube together like that. So really enjoy the concept. So check it out. Power Cube number one from Dark Horse Comics. I'm going to check it out. Next up, I have from Valiant Entertainment, no surprise there, y'all. Y'all know I'm a big Valiant fan. 
Book of Death, Legends of the Geomancer, issue number three, being written by Fred Van Lente, and on the art chores, the amazing, the finely detailed Juan Jose Rip. Um, again, with this book, we're getting the origins of the Geomancer, the very first Geomancer. There's a lot of nods to what's going on in Valiant Entertainment in the book, so I'm loving that, like the Loa, Shadow Man. Good stuff. Can't wait to see uh, more of this uh, past history of the Geomancers and all that, so check it out. Book of Death, Legends of the Geomancer, issue number three. My top pick this week, Book of Death number three. We're getting more of this awesome storyline that ties into what's going to go on with the rest of the Valiant universe from this point onward, and we're finding out that Master Dark is really this guy that has been controlling this kid and going after the new Geomancer and this little girl being protected by Eternal Warrior. So sooner or later, we're going to get this huge um, entanglement between Master Dark and the Eternal Warrior. I can't wait. I'm loving it. More awesomeness. Those are my picks, y'all. September 23rd, new release Wednesday. Check it out. Hey guys, Kevin Lee here, and today I'm going to be giving you my top three picks for this week. Uh, issue number one is Hellboy in Hell, issue number eight. And what, what makes this issue very special is that the original creator of Hellboy, uh, Mike Mignola, is going to be doing the artwork and uh, story is by him as well. This marks his return to the Hellboy comic book world. For the storyline, Hellboy actually dies, interestingly enough, and goes to hell. So he is going through obstacles of doing different things to try to find his way back to BPRD. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of Dante's Inferno. A little bit? I think so. Uh, should, should be a good one. Pick number two is Justice League 3001, issue number four. Storyline is by Keith Giffen, and artwork is by Scott Collins. And a character, so the, there's a character named Terry, and she is supposedly the new Flash, pretty much. And she's going to be going against one of the Flash's greatest enemies, the Mirror Master. So this, this should be an interesting battle. I can't wait to see what happens with this one. Issue number three is Deadpool versus Thanos, issue number two. Artwork is by Elmo Bondic, and story is by Tim Seeley. Uh, this is just an awesome issue because, I mean, you're seeing Deadpool, the Merc with a Mouth, versus Thanos, which is one of the biggest, like, one of Marvel's greatest enemies. And I would have never expected these two to go head-to-head, -head, but they are in this. Why might you be thinking? Because of an ex-girlfriend. I didn't really expect that. I mean, especially with Thanos. I mean, might need a little bit of skin moisturizer. That's just me. But definitely check these issues out. I think they're great. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that has been our show for September 23rd, 2015. If you don't want to miss an episode so you can get it fresh, remember to subscribe on YouTube. That's youtube.com slash new release Wednesday. Remember to like us on Facebook if we're doing a good job. Facebook.com slash new release Wednesday. And I've set up something new, y'all, because this is our 100th episode of new release Wednesday. I want you to follow us on Twitter now. We got a Twitter and uh, it's uh, at the NRW. That's T-H-E-N-R-W at the NRW, remember to follow us on that. And we have our own WordPress page, y'all, and I'll probably get a domain name soon for that, but that's uh, newleasewednesday.wordpress.com. Uh, new so make sure you check that out. We have all of our latest information that we get from all the companies on there. Our videos will be up on there and some reviews from everybody, as well as the video reviews, and we got some written reviews coming. We got all that material coming for y'all. So check it out, y'all. Cost love, and we're out of here. Love, love.